Diana Denmark here and rah rah rah. I have my pump pumps ready and I have my little cleaning caddy ready and I'm going to be doing a bit of work in here which is zone one of flyway. Now zone one are you know the entryway to the house. Uh, it's also the dining room if you have a dining room and the uh, front porch if you have one of those. Now I'm not going to be working at the front porch today because Yesterday we had a lot of snow and there's also a lot of uh, mud in our front uh, garden because if you've been following this for a while you know that we're having a new heating system put in and they're digging up the entire road outside. So if you hear some digging going on, it, don't worry there's not a dentist going on in the background, it's just somebody outside. Anyway, uh, as I said, we're, we're in zone one this week uh, for the full week and it's been a bit of a strange week uh, for certainly for me in Denmark because we have had statutory holidays, you know, public holidays, Monday, Thursday, Good Friday, um, Saturday, Easter Sunday and Easter Monday. So I'm just kind of diving in. I'm, I'm not worrying about being behind and, and please don't ever feel like you're behind if you've been away on vacation, something like that. All you're going to do is you're going to set your timer for 15 minutes and that's what I'm going to do today. I'm just going to work for 15 minutes and you can work along with me. If you're not working in this zone, you know, feel free to do something else. If you're just starting off with Fly Lady, then you should declutter. Don't worry about detail cleaning. But anyway, I'm just going to get started because I've got other things to do today. Uh, my DD16 is at home and we've got some IKEA furniture building to do. Right, anyway, time timer started. I've got my, uh, I'll just put my pom pom, I've got my wee cleaning caddy with me. The first thing that I want to do is remove some of the Easter decorations. So I'm going to do that, it shouldn't take long, and I've got my Easter box, remember the one that you saw me doing a declutter of. So let me just get, let me see, pop this down, let me turn you around a wee bit. There we go, come closer, come closer. Right, okay. Uh, because, you know, a, a long time ago, you know, when it was things like Christmas and whatever, I would uh, kind of procrastinate on putting away the decorations, but now I say, you know what, I'm just going to take a couple of minutes and do it. These are my little stacking eggs, I really like these ones. Right, and the yellow candle, that is going to go away and I'm going to replace it with something else spring-like in here. So those can stay and I'll leave that out, but these are going away. Box. And this is also a good time to declutter your Easter decorations, you know, before you just put them back in a box and put them in your, uh, you know, out in the garage or down in the basement. Think about, you know, did you actually enjoy using them or if you've got something in the box that you didn't use, why didn't you use it, don't do it like it. Now this is one of these uh, kind of Easter tree things that we do in Denmark. And you know what I did with this one? I just actually hang it up down in the basement in a corner and then add um, some fresh feathers and stuff like that. I've already taken off the feathers, so that is just going to go downstairs to the basement next to my bed. I'll just hang that here just now. And let me grab some stuff from the kitchen. So I've got Easter decorations there. And you've seen this one, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see my little Easter tree every night when I'm uh, doing my shiny sink. Now, I didn't put these, uh, these are called Pussy Willow Branches. Uh, I know they've got funny names also in German and Dutch. And Vibika said to me not to put them in water because you can actually dry these branches and I might be able to use them for another occasion. So that, I didn't put any water in the bottom. Normally if I'm using like apple tree branches, I put them in water so they kind of, you know, um, you know, burst out. Uh, but these ones, I've just left them dry. Now these are my little eggs. And, and my favorite one is these little birdies. A bit like the birdies who are making so much noise in the background today. The twin sparks, you know, their room is just behind you, that's the garden room in there. And the garden room I also count as part of zone one. 
So I shall be doing the windows in Tweet and Sparky's room. Uh, I'll do those today. I won't do them right now, because when I do the, room, the windows in their room, I always open all the, the doors um, if I'm using any kind of cleaning products. <laughs> I don't want to kill them off. Right. Uh, and then for those of you who have asked, the, the garden room, that's my um, DS18, he hoovers that and he vacuums it every couple of days uh, and changes the, the bird's cage. So that is not my department, not my birds. Right, okay, I think I've got almost everything off a few feathers. Okay, so what I think I'll do with those is I think I'll put them downstairs in the basement along with my other uh, Easter tree and I might use those for somewhere, or I might use them somewhere else in the house right now. Anyway, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll have a wee think about that. So those are also going down to the basement so, and my basement is down here so I wouldn't have done with them just now. Normally I would just do it, you know, do it now principle but as I'm filming let me just keep filming. Okay, another yellow candle from the one that sits behind the sink. Uh, and this lantern holder is getting really quite dirty, so I'm going to wash that. So let me pop that in the kitchen. And the last thing uh, from the kitchen was my wee uh, chicken that you've maybe seen my little fly lady doll riding. So that can go back in there. So that's for the kitchen. I've put that straight in the sink to wash next time I'm in the oh I should have taken that as well. That one too. Right, let me just check. I don't have any Easter decorations up there. I did have something else here in the hall, and these were my daffodils. Do you remember my daffodils that were also in the kitchen? They actually flowered just at Easter. Well done, IKEA. Uh, for, for getting them at the right time. And what I did is, before we went to our Swedish summer house for the weekend, I cut them because there's no point of the daffodils being here where nobody could appreciate them. And I took them to the summer house and you may have seen them in my Instagram uh, pictures of the uh, Easter dining table. Anyway, these I'm going to plant them out. You can see it was one from Ikea that I bought. Uh, and as there's no snow today and we may be over below freezing temperatures, I'm going to go out and I'm going to plant them. That's part of my um, anti-procrastination task today. I, I just take a wee, I, I keep a wee spade just at the front of the garden shed and I'm going to get those into the ground today. So I'll just pop those outside the front door. Oh, can you hear the diggers outside? A wee bit, anyway. Right, okay, and I think uh, I've only got one more thing of Easter decorations. Let me grab those. I've got those in the living room. Yeah, Easter, the Easter candles and Of cleaning here. Uh, an Easter card that the Danes don't send Easter cards, so we've only got one Easter card. That is going in the recycling. I, I don't hold on to cards because uh, you know we don't use them anymore for making crafts and things, so that's going out to recycling. Uh, I've got some uh, an Easter egg and some plastic eggs that use for decorating. Those are just going away. Okay, and again, I've got some yellow candles. I'm going to take those ones out and keep those for next time. And the wee, do you remember these wee glass eggs? I'm going to take those and put those away. Oh, there's one more. There's always one more. It's like when you're um, taking your Christmas tree out, you know, uh, for the compost. And there's always one decoration on it, you always miss one. Right, that's that. Uh, and what I'll do with this is again, oh look, I've put some uh, of Tweet and Sparky's feathers in here. I'll put the moss back in the garden 
and I'll maybe do a kind of spring decoration with the candles that I've got left. So let me just pop this outside the front door as well. And I'll do that when I'm going out later today, uh, you know, when I change my shoes, because it's really wet outside there this morning. Right, okay, that is all the Easter decks now. And this will go down back down to the basement, along with my uh, pussy willows, and other stuff, so that's good. Okay, and let me see, oh, not bad for time-wise. Right, I'm gonna do a wee spot of um, dusting and cleaning in here. And remember, I film in real time, I'm not doing this kind of, uh, because I just want to encourage you to use 15 minutes and just focus for the 15 minutes, especially if you're working out, oh, shush, uh, especially if you're working outside of the home, don't have this idea that you need to be doing five missions and spending an hour every day when you come home. Just go for one session a week of 15 minutes detail cleaning, one session of 15 minutes decluttering, and you the main thing that you should always, always do are your routines. <sighs> I think you're going to be quiet now. Yeah. Sorry, you know, that's real life. Okay, I'm going to do my, I'm going to do the stairs, and sometimes I do it with a wet rag, sometimes I do it with your vacuum cleaner. Today I'm just going to use an old drag and once we get to the bottom I'm going to throw that away. So I'm going to start up at the top and work my way down. And I've got no kind of set rhyme or reason uh, to do the stairs and, and it's just really what you know what the mood takes me. said sometimes I hoover them sometimes I use a cloth the main thing is just choose something and just do it you know it only took me uh, about two minutes to do that right okay that's done and I think what else I'm going to do today is just do the tops can you see the pictures there uh, all those prints they're prints of Edinburgh and they were I've mentioned this before but they were given to me um, by my old uh, boss, uh, Sir David Edward, and every Christmas or birthday, uh, he would present you with a print, and then the two big ones in the middle, let me see if I can kind of point right up there, the, the two kind of matching ones, um, we got those when my husband and I got engaged, and my boss had bought them a long time beforehand because he kind of worked out we would be you know getting engaged and he was holding on to them holding on to them and then suddenly when we got engaged he was like yeah finally he could get, get them out of how, our house and uh, give them to us so that's the story behind those anyway i'm just going to give those a little wipe along the tops because sometimes they get a bit dusty it's not something i do very often but that's why it's a good idea if you have your control journal that you print out you know the cleaning lists and then just check off things and then, you know, every, I don't know, second or third month, I do the top of the picture. So I'm just going to run up and do that. I'm not sure how much you can see, but hey, you're meant to be uh, working at your end. And also at the very top, I do from around the corner. So I just kind of lean over. I'm not even sure if you can see me there. Right, I'm right up at the top. There. The 
down to the next group. And as I say, it's not the kind of thing that I need to do very often. And in old pre-fly lady days, I would never even think of doing something like this. It only takes a minute. There we go. Keep them nice and shiny. rag, one of the really old ones that I keep in my cleaning caddy, so that can go out. Let me see, oh, I've just got about a minute left, so I'll tell you what I will do. Let me see. Uh, I think I'll do the windows in the dining room, so hold on. Right, I'm just going to do these windows and that will be me for the 15 minutes. I've stopped the timer. And I've mentioned it several times before. When we're in the zone, I do the windows in that zone. So I, I don't do, uh, you know, that mirrors, glass thing during a weekly home blessing hour. I just do a quick squish squish for the windows in the zone. And I just use them with a wee bit of generic uh, window cleaner. I use one that's uh, biodegradable, hasn't been tested with animals. You can just use a, a wet cloth. Uh, but I wanted to do these ones today. because it really only takes a minute. And for those also who have asked, we have a window cleaner who does the outside of the windows um, about two or three times a year. Uh, we, we have a three, a two-story house plus the basement. And some of the windows, like if you've seen the one in the hall, I can't get to those without having a very long ladder or special equipment. He has a special equipment and a ladder and the life insurance. And we have about, oh, about 45 windows, not, not paying the 45 windows, because uh, there's ones in the basement, ones in the first floor, uh, the Velux window in the kitchen, the huge six panes in the hall, and then all the upstairs uh, bedrooms. So he, he comes and he does them and it takes, I think he does them in about 45 minutes because he's got the special equipment. Um, so that makes sense for us. If you can get outside and do them, that's uh, good for you. Uh, I do the ones at the summer house. I do those once or twice a year uh, because the ones at the summer house, I can get to them standing on a chair, standing on a ladder. So anyway, that is me done. Woo! Let me just go over here. Okay, no digging going on right now. Um, what else was I going to say? Nothing really. Um, as usual, just check, check off your list and, and don't worry about the things that you didn't get to this week. I, I may do another spot of cleaning, you know, five minutes at a time. I leave my cleaning caddy in the zone. I don't put it down in the basement. My cleaning caddy will probably go here. Um, so that when I've got five or ten minutes if I'm waiting for uh, dinner to cook oh hold on I know I've gone all kind of dark um, if I'm waiting for dinner to cook I can come in here and oh, I don't know um, like this just dust off the the flat surfaces so just use those kind of magic minutes when you're not you know when you're waiting for something else to happen to do a wee bit of um, you know, surface dusting, or you could take your feather duster on a stick and run around with that. Anyway, as I said, I was going to keep it, going to keep it short to the 15 minutes of cleaning, and I've done a wee bit of chatting as usual. Have a great day. Um, sunshine today and no snow. We're heading towards it in the spring. Uh, down in Denmark, saying live long and prosper out there. May the day be with you, and I shall see you all very soon. Okay, bye for now.